What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included Season 3. Now, hopefully we're going to go straight into the rocket capsule to see the best design I've been off to make anyway very shortly. Um, and that is a great hall, uh, luxury barracks and a washroom bathroom. They're in the load fairer. Now, of course, we, have to, we do have a bigger one with the mods, uh, but I can't get to the neodymium, whatever it's called alloy at the minute so yeah we can't build it although we should be unlocking it very very soon as long as we get data banks yeah so you can see there uh, in terms of the setup that's about as good as i can get anyway uh plus two from the bathroom plus two from the bedroom and plus six from the great hall so plus 10 in terms of morale with a telephone in there that gives plus two as well so this now is to set up for the guys that are going to be in orbit doing the data bank production. So what I'm going to do here is rip out the bathroom. No, I said the wrong word. Bedroom. Ripping out the bedroom, shrinking it down to a single cart makes it a barracks plus one instead of a luxury barracks plus two. So we only lose one morale. But the data bank machine, actually the orbital research machine that makes the data banks fits lovely in the bedroom. It doesn't affect the bedroom stats and we can then rip out the statue in the control room and replace that with a chest to store much 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 plastic because all it uses is plastic and power and we are off so as i just said that's now done the machine is there, the chest there is just plastic, 30 tons, actually 32 tons of plastic. All you can see on the actual resources is data banks, which is just about to make the first one. There you go, thank you mate. And 32.4 tons of plastic to go. Now that's enough plastic to make many thousands of data banks, they're not going to do that, but the idea is that I can just get them to do this, come down, restock the food if needed, but that shouldn't be an issue either change the person out maybe and then send them straight back up again we need about 250 per research we're about 100 short on the current rocket upgrade research that we've been waiting for which is the drill cone uh, to harvest the other asteroids that are that are uh, only harvestable you can't land on them never actually done that before in this game so it's exciting for me there is a laser drill cone as well, but it turns out that needs rad bolts to power it, which is a bit complex. So let's go with the first one, the original vanilla one first, and we'll look at extending to that upgrade should we need to in the future. Obviously having a nap. They're still on the same schedule as everybody else. Now I'm trying to use a blueprint thing here to copy this because I know it's exactly what I want. I don't want anything to change, but... I'm not going to bore you with it, but it don't work. So if anybody knows why the Blueprint mod doesn't work properly, or if there's a better one than just the Blueprints mod, uh, please let me know in the comments. So yeah, I'm building it by by hand. Uh, I know roughly where everything is. I, might, I, I keep flipping, checking, but yeah. It's exactly the same as the one that you've just seen. I'm just building it manually because the Blueprint thing doesn't work. So, yeah, I, I, it works. It, if I copy this entire capsule, it takes about three of the things and ignores the rest. So, luckily, it's not too bad. Um, I even tried just doing buildings and it still didn't work. So, I don't know. It's probably me or my install. I'm not sure. But let me know your thoughts and if you've had it in the past. In the meantime, though, it's just rinse and repeat, right? I want two up there uh, in orbit. I don't know yet, and if somebody can tell me the answer to that as well, that'd be great. If I go into an orbit of an asteroid that's thousands of uh, tiles away, do I get more than one? I don't think so, which means that why would you why would you go anywhere other than the asteroid, asteroid home asteroids orbit? Uh, I just leave them up there. They can easily land them. Fuel-wise, will last them about seven or eight plus launches. Uh, all you need to do is make sure they don't run out of food, oxygen, water. Of course, the sink, and rightly pointed out in the comments on one of the videos, uh, the drain that I do for it is pretty poor, so it won't last very long before it backs up. Uh, I am aware of that, but obviously at this time I'm not worried because I'm not doing any long, long distance. 
Slow progress over at Asteroid 2. Four duplicates, six rovers, and lots of bees. <clears throat> bees everywhere. Um, yeah, but they're... I don't know. What's actually happened? And there we go. That was the answer. The Atmos suit stations were empty, which means the Atmos suits have changed to worn. Which means they've got no Atmos suits. So what I need to do is tell this to send the worn Atmos suits home. They'll automatically get repaired home on the home planet. Asteroid. And the... We'll have to make some new ones on the home asteroid and send them over here so they can continue. And rocket number two now. That is also built. Again, exactly the same as the one before. It's a much smaller rocket because it's only doing... It hasn't got the other things that I had on the rocket that I adapted. Uh, this one, just take off the suit and off you go. Plastic into the machine. Smack it, punch it, and smack it with your bat, with your buttocks. There we go. All of them different things. And that makes us some data banks. So we've now got two in orbit with astronauts that will continue to give us some research. And that means now we can make much more progress. I can chuck a lot more of these up. They're not difficult. They're not expensive. It requires one duplicate and lots of plastic, which we have many, many hundreds of tons of plastic. So plenty of food. 175,000 calories. Yeah. That's all they're doing, right? So they just do that. This one, eight. What's that? 69? 69. Uh, so this data bank's there as well. I'll bring them down when they've got a hundred or so each Maybe a couple of hundred when it adds up to about 250 for The two added together I can land them because that's enough to do a research because I think all the research is just 250 So just waiting for the data banks to be made and you can see I have fixed The launch set up the below. It's the same. I've just obviously they've had time to finish all of those uh, temp shift plates but you can see the ladders as well are in for manual and they have a delivery for every single rocket site um, including one at the end there where the lava is just in case because i can um there are no doors because there's no need for them they'll be going in there via the tube uh if they need to walk in there they can use the ladders just removing the doors is an extra problem I've increased the bunker ground level so you can see that they were now indented in. So as far as the duplicates are concerned, it's an actual flat floor now, which is useful. They can run straight over and it doesn't slow them down. Also, I'm hoping that it protects them a little bit or the heat that is generated from a launch and landing is restricted ever so slightly. But that is just a guess. I've got no idea. You can see there's a good 150 or so units there so i think we're good to land these guys now and get those data banks processed into our researchers because our researcher has been a long long time where they haven't done anything actually because of course we've been blocked by data banks now, this duplicate's hungry because I went through earlier and I didn't realize I was doing it for everybody. But basically, I've turned off the prerequisite foods. So they're not allowed to eat anything unless it's a, a fine meal or higher. Um, but of course, in that refrigerator, there isn't that, that food. There's just the crappy food. So for the guys in the shuttles, I need to go into consumables and unlock everything so that they can eat whatever they want. Because eating something is better than eating nothing, right? Okay, so sending them both back. There is one. Just landing, and there is two. Nicely in unison, straight out of orbit. And of course, they both have a good 150 to 200 data banks each. So that should be easily enough to do at least complete the research that we're currently doing. And, of, and then, of course... Uh, probably the one after it. Now, I forgot to put the ladders in when I did this cell, which was a bit stupid, so I'll do that now because they can't get out without them. It's a bit strange, though. At no point does the data bank on the side there where you can see resources go from zero, even though I know I've got like three or 400. Somebody comes and fetches them or the duplicates collect them or whatever they do with them. They take them straight to the, the actual machine that you do the research with the data banks. Stores, I think it's... 
400, I'm not sure. But yeah, it stores quite a lot of them inside itself and it doesn't show in your resources as stored. So it looks like we've got none. I go into the rocket and I can't see them. Uh, I go into our storage and can't see them, but research still happens. So it's a bit weird. Maybe when we get a few more, it might work better. But yeah, it, it's working. But for some reason, they kind of disappear a little bit. But they can't get out and we're not getting them resources until the ladders are built. So we need to jump on that. And this is a perfect example of the lower one on the right that I'm doing just now. It's easier to build the ladders for that than this one because you have to build more ladders because it's higher. But to save confusion, I'm just going to chuck a, a storage vessel next to that machine and then any excess that does get stored outside of the machine should go into there and we should start seeing numbers. You can see the research, though, immediately jumping on that, pushing that applied science. No, data analysis. There we go. Pushing that data analysis up and up and up and that bar there. About 75% complete. That, I believe, is the drill cone research that we've been waiting for for probably about 100 cycles or more. Uh, as soon as that one's done, we will likely do the luxury space one, which unlocks the next stage of capsule, the bigger one, the larger one that I've been talking about for quite a while now. Uh, that's when I realized that we're missing a resource that I've never heard of before, so we'll look into that and try them out. We're definitely going to try it out though because I want to see how cool we can make a long distance one. Because if we can make a really cool long distance one for a duplicate or two, we can then try and use that to fly around the entire galaxy uncovering the tiles that way without having to use the telescopes. Rockets are almost ready to send up again. Um, just making a few adjustments to them for increasing the size of the battery mainly. Research has finally completed and there we go. We've got the drill cone, we've got a laser drill cone and the service module which is part of the rocketry expander that adds to the drill cones and makes them work for longer and faster. Now, I've never used them before, so as far as I'm aware, you put them on and you send them with a duplicate to one of those resource-based asteroids. They then stay there for a certain amount of time. Again, I'm not sure how long they have to be there for. Uh, and then when they're full, you can either bring them back or they may come back themselves. I don't know. Then it will land with all them resources and they'll go into the system. Now, I'm going to have to do an automation for that because likely if they're fetching 30, 40 tons uh, that's a lot of walking backwards and forwards for our duplicates. In this one, though, we're going to try that now and look at building our first drill. So, of course, you need the engine. Now, the drills, I wasn't sure what the difference was. It didn't really say uh, when I clicked on it. There was no obvious better or worse. But what I do know is I built the laser one, and then it turns out it needs rad bolts. Not doing that yet. The other one requires diamond and power, I guess. We can, of course, do that. I think that the same size of the, the laser one might be one tile taller. I'm not sure. One thing's for sure, though, is the, the service bay that goes with it to make it better is massive. So I'm not entirely sure... Um, that's probably where you need the petroleum, large petroleum engines or the hydrogen engines to get the maximum. I'm not sure, actually, the, like 30 towers, is it? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. We're not far off that now. Now we've got the data banks coming in. We're going to get all of that very shortly, so we'll be trying it all out. Not a problem while we look for the temporal shift, temporal rift, and uh, continue to science the shite out of all of the goodies that we're collecting. And it was at the point that I realized that I can't build any solar panels for any of my rockets anymore because I've ran out of glass. Yes, I wasted it on the ceiling of that uh, surface station. And yes, I could rip it out and use it, but I'm not going to. Because to be honest, I should have probably done this a long time ago. So I'm just going to chuck two of these glass refineries down. They're then going to throw their molten glass into an insulated room to the right hand side of where they were uh, i'll then set up a nice simple 
cooling loop like we've done throughout the entire series to run through there and take that heat away. And then a sweeper set to say 40, 50 degrees. And as soon as the glass gets to 40, whatever that setting is, say 50 degrees, it will then sweep it up and put it into the system to be used. Um, if we use it, I'm not sending it into the, but it's what, 1400 degrees? I think it, molten glass, when it first comes out of the machine, is like 1800 degrees. It's like as hot, if not hotter than magma. So we, we don't want to be chucking that anywhere near the base. Just getting these ready to go because, of course, we're going to be launching these straight back into orbit to continue to uh, make us data banks. Just making sure they have water, they have food, they have oxygen, as you can see. This one has a bit of a power issue, but it has not enough oxygen. It has water, so this one can't go yet. And I've named them Orbital Orbit Research 1 and 2. One's ready to launch, two still needs more oxygen, which means likely that the piping hasn't been finished yet. Yeah, because I've swapped the... I've moved the um, capsule down, as I said, because it's easier to get them in and out. Uh, it's now not matching up with the oxygen, so I need to rip that up. I need to just line that up, like the one on the right. Uh, obviously, the one on the right is running and ready to go. So we can get that into orbit ASAP. Asteroid 2, we might actually have a bit of progress, maybe. I'm sure this one, yeah, that's definite progress. We've uncovered that as well and researched it because I wanted to get the data banks from it. Didn't give me any of those. So, yeah, that is a liquid carbon dioxide vent, which is pretty cold, about negative 40, but not cold enough for us to use in the future and just leave it alone. I'm not going to be staying here enough for that to matter. But, yeah, they've made a good significant dent there now. They've got plenty of Atmos suits to keep going with. Uh, it's looking good. A few liquid breaches all over the place. I've now established that that is uh, liquefiables that are in the conveyor system uh, and then melting as they're traveling wherever that may be. So there we go. You can see digging up as well. We're doing good. This map, again, remember we're not going in much lower than that line there unless I can see a lot of uranium that I'll probably leave one person behind to do. Um... But we're making progress. We're about a third to, yeah, just over a third of the way through this bottom part, ripping out. Um, so we're getting there. It's always nice to see these giant asteroid maps where we can actually do a decent amount of progress with research. Research? Resources. The rovers are still going, picking up solid... Yeah, they're picking up solid carbon dioxide. I really don't know why. We shouldn't be touching any of the liquid, any of the ice we don't care about. We don't need water. We don't need any liquids apart from the ethanol that I may or may not collect. It depends on timings and how long these guys take. But what I'm going to do is jump down to everybody on here. And you can see they're already maxed out on digging. So that is why it's made a difference. I've told them all to just dig, dig, dig. Uh, everything else leave for the rovers. Okay, by the steam coming out the bottom of the rocket, that means it is ready to go. We're just waiting for the pilot to jump in. That will then launch back into orbit and start immediately making us some data banks. And off it goes, slowly but surely. The second one is almost ready, I believe, if not already ready. Is that me saying it's ready? Looks like they're still working on gassing it up. So it's got all the research resources uh, this one, just make sure he's out of his Atmos suit and immediately getting straight on. So May is definitely cracking on there. One of our superheroes um, for the data banks. Same as Ben He is the superhero for Asteroid 2. Another research complete. You see, progress is made when you actually play the game correctly. Uh, hashtag noob for me, but there we go. I don't know why I forgot. I, I honestly can't. But yeah, I'm having to smash the, the slabs open here to get to these wires because apparently they can't reach it any other way. And then I'll have to do it to the one there on the right as well. But we have unlocked a new research. Which we'll take a look at shortly. Look at the star map. You can see the two shuttles, rockets in orbit. It's cool. I like seeing it. It's cool. Uh, it's a lot easier to get into orbit than it is on KSP anyway. There is the drill cone, the original. Um, this one uses diamonds and power, I believe. Then two cargo bays. Uh, I can probably put more on there. I don't actually know if they are what I need. I, again, this is the first time I do this. Will probably be a right mess. 
Uh, but we'll learn from there. Yes, I could Google it. Yes, I could YouTube it. But I like to find this stuff out on my own, or at least if you guys know the answers, you can tell me. Uh, keeping that sort of between us instead of using others. Also, I wanna don't want to see other people's ideas and like get them in my head. I like to do it my own way. So I'm hoping they're the right cargo bays. Uh, they hold, I think each one holds 15 tons. So effectively, we can bring back 36 tons of whatever it is that it mines. Um, is my idea, but definitely I'm. There's no oxidizer there, so an oxidizer and maybe one more cargo bay. Uh, so 18, 36, 54 is that? 54 tons. Oh no, because we need that as well. So yeah, no, there's no room. In fact, there's no room for the oxidizer. I don't know. Um, we'll figure it out. I think we obviously need to push the next research for the large petroleum rocket to see if that gives us a, a significant size increase in the rocket. Glass production is slowly... The building's done, but we just need this cooling area now to be finished as well. I'm not having liquid uh, molten glass loose in my base. That sounds dangerous. Although they are in Atmos suits, so I think they'll be safe, but still. And with that, we are up and running, or at least should be. Simple calling loop there. I'm not sure if that's enough. That's why I'm testing it. I can do a row or two above that should we need more calling for the for the glass, but we'll see. Uh, you can see there is a sweeper in there. There is a belt loader that's already connected because there was a conveyor belt close by anyway. Uh, it is set for 40 or 50 degrees. We just need somebody to come and do one batch of glass now is what I've asked them to do. Sorry, I will be asking them to do one batch. Based on how well that goes, uh, I'll then probably ask them to do, say, 20 each or something. We can't send our rockets up without solar panels. That's just not going to go. That's just not going to work. And there we go. The molten glass is in the pipe at nearly 2,000 degrees. Uh, it looks like for 100 kilos of sand, we get 25 kilos of glass. That's going to be red, right? Yeah, immediately drops in there. And you can see the heat being taken away straight away. Uh, how quick it will cool down is another factor. Realistically, though, from what I learned from the comment previously, and I've already done, I need to replace that floor with metal tiles and get the cooling pipes going into there as well. That will cool it down much quicker. We are at time now, though, so I am going to do that for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please get a like and a comment. So welcome. As always, subscribe for more so you don't miss out. Take care. Goodbye.